Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to another mantra flip through. Now I have not done a mantra magazine flip through in a very long time. Truth be told, I think my subscription ended. I don't remember getting a notice it was ending. I don't remember any of it, but if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. You know this is my absolute, by far, favorite magazine ever. I have been flipping through this for a couple years now. There is a separate playlist below. If you have not seen them, uh, please feel free to go back and, and peruse the playlist. So uh, I love this magazine for a couple reasons. One, I don't know what the order, I, the order doesn't matter. But the first thing is the artwork in here is absolutely stunning and completely usable for like journaling and vision boards and master boarding and all of that kind of stuff. It's just beautiful. Two, I think the content alone is very, very um, impactful and um, powerful and I think they present it in a way that is completely like obtainable by everybody. I like swallowable, if you will. Like it's a little tiny piece of information, but it's so important. There's a lot of like mental health in here, emotional well-being, um, just lot it's just packed with amazing things. And third, if not last and certainly not least or whatever, it is completely affordable, in my humble opinion. This magazine is seven dollars. Now um, this is not sponsored or anything. I completely pay for my subscription. I've never gotten a free one from even a gift from anybody else or anything. Like I pay for this. I believe in it a hundred percent. Um, I, most magazines like this are like 14 or $15. So I think it is completely well-priced. So, uh, let's go through it. Shall we? I have not opened it at all. I literally just took the plastic off, um, and, and want to go through it with you. Now, this is, let's see here, volume 45, okay? So it comes out, I believe, quarterly, like four times a year, if I'm not mistaken. It is a flip magazine. It has half of the magazine this way and half of it this way. So we'll get through half, we'll flip it over, we'll do the other half. All right, let's see, let's see what... <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. I absolutely love it. Now I flip it with you guys and then I go upstairs and I take my time reading it and whatnot. And then, um, I hoard it for a while. Some of the things I might pull out and take to my office or whatnot, but it takes me a long time to cut these up. I definitely have a stack of them that it's just difficult. And, um, I haven't used the things I've already cut up. So I enjoy, uh, rereading them and going back over it and every Every time you read it, you might get a little bit different, you know, message from it. So let's make sure I have you kind of to the best of my ability. I think that's about as good as I can get you guys. Okay, so here's the table of contents. I also love the fact that they um, sometimes have ads that are kind of artful, you know, more so than other magazines, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So this is table of contents, every single choice, designing a life you love. Wellness is figuring out um, how we want to feel and understanding what will get us there. I mean, it's just, ugh, it's just so powerful. So if you are interested, um, it's Instagram at Mantra Magazine and Facebook, it looks like Mantra Yo, oh, Mantra Yoga Mag. And then they have a website and you can just go online and order you a copy. But like, yeah, <laughs> every single thing I could cut out of here, like find more in less. I mean, look at my desk. Holy cow. Yes. Um, again, table of contents, what's to come. This is cool magazine. I... I would say that I've been here. I I think this is Leavenworth. That's very interesting. Maybe not, but anyway. Um, so yeah, some ads for, you know, whatever else. That's how magazines make money. It is um, a little bit of like glossy pages, just so you know, um, as I'm, you know, touching them and trying to explain. Um, article on whatever the word is. I don't know. You say it. I can't. Um, 
a well-being hacker. Yeah, so it's interesting when you look at like who wrote these, because some of them I definitely know and they're well known, like, uh, well, in my opinion, obviously, and then others, I have no idea like who this person is or whatnot, but I, you know, very cool. And she's got her own website and everything there. This is very fun. Love it. Um, I don't know why we're on. Look at this four issues that could be holding up your decluttering process. Well, this is, I don't see four. Where's four over here. Um, very interesting. Where's four? Oh, down here. Duh. Um, these are the same four you see in every single article. These are the four things that lead to, um, well, hoarding specifically. This is what they say. It's the same thing. Um, I might need it someday. Number two is it was expensive. Number three, it was a gift, uh, like a sentimental. And number four is, uh, it's for, I'm saving it for my kids or for a future. Yeah. It's always the same thing. So it's nice, but again, it's done in like a very simple kind of, you know, easy way. That's easy to understand. All right, here we go. Learning to listen to yourself. Yeah, I just can't. I love going through these. That's interesting. These are little Christmas trees, but I think... I don't know. I thought maybe they are made out of soap. Those are really cute. All right. Tell me what it is you plan to do with your one wild and precious life by Ma Mary Oliver. Yes. The art of slow living, some beautiful pictures to cut out for glue books and whatnot. Slow living and the joy of crafting. Oh, I love it so much. Okay. Your nourishing sanctuary. Living vibrantly with color. This is like a whole thing on slow living, I guess. Look at this beautiful artwork, though. I mean, look how cute that is. See, if I just cut all of these out, I would have a glue book page and it would look perfect. <laughs> I wouldn't have to, I wouldn't have to struggle with what goes where. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I love this. I This blue and red, oh, has my heart. Has my heart. So fun. All right. They seem to have changed. I, I will say they seem to have changed their aesthetic a little bit since the last time I reviewed. They have two sister magazines. One is Thrive. And it's all um, like food. And one is organ or, or, organ or uh, mm. well, we'll see it in a minute. They have an ad in here, um, which is all like living spaces and whatnot. And this is very similar to that. Oh, I love this. You Look at this. Be inspired by others, but always follow your own brush strokes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I absolutely love that. So cool. Yeah. And some of this, I mean, you know, may or may not be your style at all. Like this isn't necessarily my style, but I do love the content oftentimes. So okay. So here is one of their journal pages. Now I never write on these because that's just not my jam. I'm not going to write in this magazine necessarily. I might pull these out and, but I tend to use the prompts in a different way. Um, but I'm not going to write in this little tiny spot here or leave it in this magazine, certainly. But um, these are great self, these are great journal prompts. So something um, big I'm going to make happen this year, ways I can be more disciplined between, towards my purpose. Um, Ways I can support my mental health. I feel self-conscious about. These are beautiful, beautiful prompts to start like some self um, kind of awareness journaling. Ways I neglect myself. Yeah. Two ways I feel stuck. 
And oftentimes when you do one, I mean, you could cut this out and glue it on a journal page and just journal, or you could write it at the top, you know. Oftentimes once you start writing, the process happens, right? And you just you just are going. So um, now this I really like. I like the different fonts on here. Um, gosh knows I love the palm trees. Yeah, we are... When we are afraid, we pull back from life, self-respect, waking life. These are beautiful. <laughs> Be the weirdo who enjoys, who dares to enjoy. This is great. Yeah, space to breathe. Plants are my love language. That's cool. Beautiful table set up. This is um, a lot, um, very much like their other magazine. I will say there's a lot of like, may, and maybe that's the, perp, maybe that's just the, topic of this month. Now, this is interesting. So, um, this is like usually a featured artist. Uh, we maybe missed her name in the beginning or whatnot. So, um, these I think are super cool. Now, again, you may or may not really love what's on this side, but look at these really fun, like journal cards, if you will. Um, some of these are very powerful and this may or may not be the font or colors you necessarily like, but Again, I think they're just fun and often, oftentimes like appropriate to put in your journal or whatnot. I think they're super cool. Yeah. About strength. This one just says take care, turning anger into action. Stop forcing creativity and give yourself time to rest. Yes. Find the good. Oh my gosh, you guys, stop being the go-to person for people you can't go to. Holy care. Cool. Holy moly. Um, stop feeling guilty for prioritizing your own needs. And don't let your bad days trick you into thinking you have a bad life. So powerful. I love it. Now, the problem, problem with this sheet, of course, is it has a back and this side is equally as beautiful. I know what you're going to say. I know. So I don't scan things. So, but yes, technically you could if you wanted to use both for your journal. Obviously not to promote or sell or anything like that because that would be copyright stuff. But but I don't scan stuff. Um, change may be scary, but so is staying the same. Oh, but see, now look, that is a zinger of a quote. And so is that one, like literally on the same. Ugh. So we'll see. Um, you can go online and purchase an online copy of the magazine. If you can't get a mail copy, you can get it digitally and then you could print these out if you wanted to. These are cool. It's hard to see things when you're too close. Take a step back and look. Don't hold on to the source of your suffering. Super cool. Just show up every day and do it. Yes. Now. This is interesting because I, I often say this too. I think that they sometimes repeat artwork in here because I would say um, I have some of these similar like patterns cut out places and stuff. So yeah, just show up and do it. Just show up every day and do it. Don't wait for the right time. And so I don't know this author either, but... I don't know, really cute, like bullet points of important points. I just think, don't take it personally. If you wait for the right time, it'll never come. I mean, just very cool. Love the artwork. Look at this, look at this. And then I often cut out, like there hasn't been as much in this one. So, um, and I will say, I think it's a little bit thinner than usual okay this is the halfway point you can tell it's upside down so I will flip it over to this so just trying to see this says well-being by design and this one says well-being by design there's not like a separate I don't know gorgeous 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 Let's see the table of contents for this half. Okay, I'm going to flip it over to the other half really quickly. 
This one says, like growth, self-care, inspiration, and a note from the editor. And then this one says like beauty and color. So I'm not too sure, but this definitely has more house stuff in it and not as much of the arty, um, oh my gosh, yes to this, okay. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, so Jack Canfield, or Canefield, I don't know, um, is often in this magazine. So I don't know if he's a continuing. Yeah, so this is talking about the first hour of your day and morning practices, right? And so it says the morning is the most important time of the day. If you spend an hour of your day to do these three things, you'll be happier in life, healthier, and more, made of, more, more motivated than you've ever felt. Uh, he calls it his hour of power. Other people call it a different thing, whatever it is. Um, exercise, meditation, and reading. Yes. Morning. Yep. Remember, you can always change the terms of your hour. It is your hour of power. Yep. Super cool. Yes. A morning practice. This is amazing. Look at this. So this is an example of what I'm talking about in terms of like, this is a pretty heavy topic, right? Like that you see in therapy a lot. You see a lot of people struggling with like people pleasing and there's different degrees of it, of course, but look how beautiful this is. And it's just a little, like a little dose of, of support for it. So five ways to stop people pleasing, recognize when you lack the boundaries, define your worth outside of other people's opinions, practice healthy detachment, let them be wrong and create mantras. Like, of course it's deeper than that, but you can, you can get the first tidbits here. You could go to this person's, uh, she's a therapist. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Um, the relaxation response. So look at this artwork. This is what I normally see in here is more of like this. Very cool. Yep. A relaxation response. Very healthy for you. I love it. Look, okay. This is gorgeous. Look at this ad. This is an ad for, uh, supplements. Not only is this part beautiful, you could cut just this out. Gorgeous. And then down here, they've given you little, like affirmation or mantra cards on an ad for supplements. Well done. Well done. I love this. Yep, my gut and my brain are connected and working together. I am confident and value myself. Love this. All right. More flowers and... Yeah, so interesting. This is not quite what... Um, and maybe they've revamped a little bit. I'm not too sure. Color therapy. Look at that. Gorgeous. Seems a little weird. I mean, not that they have a seasonal one, but like, this is all very, 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 very bright. So let's see what we're doing here. Sorry, let me, I got carried away and flipping through the rainbows. A life in vivid color. Taking care of your spirit, self-care and wellness. Oh, the 411. London-based photographer, graphic designer, and digital creator. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Never work for free. Advice to creatives and entrepreneurs. Look at these fun things you could cut out, though. These are gorgeous. Patterns, purpose, and practice. Gorgeous. Well, I will say this does not have quite as much artwork as I normally see and that I normally tend to cut out and whatnot. Um, and again, maybe they've changed it a little bit, but I think the content usually is very, very, I love these teacups right here. Sorry, a little distracted, little, um, like I really love these teacups right here. <laughs> And like, this is not me at all. Okay. But the topic of creating my dream house, you know, that process and that article will probably be very good to read. There was suddenly light at the end of the tunnel. So cool. Creative minds are rarely tidy. See, we're all going to be just fine. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, so this is interesting. Okay, so over here it says make your bed. It says for me the wellness tool that is most fundamental and easy to do but still makes a huge difference is to make my bed every day. It's transformational, yes. Find a way to move your body in a way that you enjoy and you can incorporate into weekday life. For me, it's dancing. Yes to both of those. Um, greatest lesson, whatever you give your attention to will grow. Yes, if you obsess over something you don't want to happen, it will surely happen. So why not focus on what you want and what you want to see in the world? Yes. So again, again, it's like very powerful and kind of like underlying deep stuff, but like presented in like a little morsel that you can just read. Love it. Book. Eleven tips that might transform your life. Wow. <laughs> Do not build your life and income on another person. Yep. Live deliberately. Love it. Interesting, interesting. Beyond confidence, unleashing your inner speaker. Oh, very nice. Now, this is interesting because, and when I go upstairs and read it more or whatever, I would swear that I have seen this artwork before. And so they may have just used it for this article or maybe this is the same artist. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, not too sure. But anyway, I think it's pretty cool. Slow down, you're gonna get, you'll get there faster. So, words for women. Stop playing small. Our worth is not based on how we look. Lastly, be gentle with yourself. I know most of the women I know, me included, can get impossible standards. Yeah. Um, oh, my goodness. And my favorite quote ever, I actually didn't know it was from Glennon Doyle until I read Glennon Doyle's book, which seems weird, I know. Uh, but, yes, we can do hard things. Absolutely. You can do hard things. I can do hard things. Yes, we can. Um Love it. Beautiful world, but look at the fun. Like, look at, even if you just punched, right? Even if you got your punches out and just punched this, love it. Yeah, so advice on goals, learn and grow. Uh, now, see, this is what I have not seen. Now, normally there's like four or five of these in the magazine, including like, um, one on the cover or the back cover. So normally I cut these out. They go in different frames or clipboards in my office. I love it when women realize they are not asking for too much. So that's cool. Uh, this I have absolutely seen before because I've cut this out before. It doesn't mean it was the same article. It just means it was the same artwork. And they may have changed the color of the teacups, but I absolutely have cut this out before. Um, herbal tea. Nice. Yes, creativity takes courage. I love it. So cool. Love it. Look at this beautiful quote. If you see me talking to myself, don't interrupt. I'm in a staff meeting. <laughs> yep. So this is very, very common for the magazine. If you haven't seen it before, like kind of this border with these plants and stuff. I have quite a few. Um... I have quite a few of these like cut out. Um, well, I don't have to show you, but like that's from Mantra, right? Like leaf borders and here's a Mantra uh, card. Um, you know, this sort of thing is from Mantra. So um, absolutely love it. Love cutting out all the little bits and pieces when I get to them. Like I said, it does take me a while. So here's 10 tips on how to trust and thrive. And the modern shed life. And I think that's, oh, not quite. I thought we were getting close, but yeah. 
so more this month on like living spaces, but that may just be the focus of it, but that's the middle of the magazine. So that's, uh, then we would flip it over again. So, um, so that's it for my new, my newest, um, you know, subscription, no, my newest, uh, volume of my subscription to Mantra Wellness. And I apologize. I haven't flipped one in a while because I somehow my subscription went away. So not somehow, but you know, um, anyway, if you're interested now, see, that's the other weird thing. Did we miss the middle page where it gives us our, if you want to order, order here. That's very strange. I feel like this is a little different. I think they've reorganized somehow. There is a page in here that tells you where to find all their things. Huh? Well, it's mantrawellness.com, I'm sure. Or mantrawellnessmag.com. Um, just super strange, but you can find them online. I did give you the Instagram. I will link it below as well. Uh, and again, this is not paid or anything. Never, never has been. Um, interesting very interesting anyway you can get a you can get one online and you can also get a subscription if you're interested so but that's it for me i will take this upstairs and spend a lot of time reading it you know as i go to bed at night or whatnot um i guess they've just put it i guess they've just put it all here um again it's at mantra magazine on instagram which is probably the easiest way to find them and then you can you can go from there so that's it for me, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. I hope you're having a relaxing day. Uh, if you're interested in the magazine or if you already get it or, you know, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you think they've changed a little bit or whatnot. I still absolutely love it. And I think it's full of, you know, pretty cool content. So, um, like I said, this is the first one of my new, like of this year's subscription. So, you know, I've essentially ordered four. So this is number one. So, all right, you guys, thanks for hanging out. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care. Bye.